Hey guys, I'm back for the next part of the Sonic Forces speedrun tutorial, and in this video we're going to be going over Casino Forest, the next classic Sonic stage. So without further ado, let's get into it. So at the beginning of this stage, you'll want to do um, you'll want to immediately do a max charge spin dash or a three charge spin dash, whatever you want to call it, and you want to do it right into uh, this thing right here. You want to charge it up all the way. And then when you, here, let me see. All right, so this uh, speed pad is going to just throw you up here like that. Now, one thing that you, uh, what you'll need to do is as soon as it gets you up here, you'll want to just mash the jump button. It's like, like I'm doing right now. So when you get up to around here, you want to just start mashing the jump button. Just like that. Now, the reason for that is because you want to not get very high, like you want to avoid getting as much height as possible. See like, right there, I went way too high, and now I'm going to fall into the the bonus point thing here, and that wastes time. See, I just spent like a good second in there. Now to avoid that, all you have to do is just mash the jump button when you get to the top of that incline. Just like that. See, I avoided it, and then I just went down to this, I just got down here faster. Now, uh, that's it for the beginning section. As far as the stage in general goes, it's... I'm repeating myself here again, but I'll keep saying it, and it's that you will be staying at the top path for most of the level. So for here, that includes... So you just use that speed pad, and then as soon as you get to the edge of this, uh, of this right here, you'll just want to press the jump button, and then get up to this platform right here. And you can just touch this, spin dashing into it, doesn't really matter. And as soon as you land on this one, you just mash the jump button immediately. It doesn't, uh, you don't have to like wait for a classic Sonic to go lower on it. It doesn't really matter. You can just mash it immediately. So just like that. Okay. Now for this, uh, let me uh, explain something here. So at the end of this little section at the top is another one of those uh, point things that classic Sonic can fall into. And obviously you want to avoid that. You want to avoid falling into that. Now, if you just touch this uh, speed pad normally, classic Sonic will fall into it. Now there are a few ways you can avoid it. You can either like jump over it and then drop dash. And if you drop dash around here, you can avoid it. Another way is if you uh, touch the, if you touch the speed pad and you jump like the same frame that you touch it, you will not gain as you will not gain as much speed and you will be able to avoid falling into it. Let's see if I can get it right here. Okay, no, I didn't get it. I'm actually going to cut to an attempt where I can get it, because that'll be a good thing to show off. So as you can see right there, I basically jumped as soon as I touched the speed pad, and I was able to uh, kind of sort of fly over the, um, the bonus point thing, and I was able to avoid that completely. So like I said, you can either jump over it and then drop dash, or you can do the strat that I just did right there. Uh, one of those will usually end up, uh, one of those will end up working. The drop dashing one is the better one to do when you're starting off, because sometimes for the, uh, the jump into the speed pad, you, that's something you can easily miss. You'll want to do the drop dash version when you're starting off. Now, when you get over to, uh, this part right down here, the goal is to, let me just, alright, so the goal is to get to the top part up here, because casino gimmicks are annoying, right here. Now there is basically one way that I approach this. So that's what I do. So to explain what I just did, I actually, um, so those speed pads that you saw, I basically intentionally, I uh, intentionally ran into them. And what I did was I maneuvered my analog stick. Uh, these casino gimmicks are very annoying. <laughs> I, uh, wait. okay. So I ran into this, and then I just maneuvered my analog sticks in a very specific way. So, to explain what I'm doing, so I'm holding right, and then when I get to that very last uh, uh, bouncy thing, I start holding left, and then I quickly hold right again. If you do it correctly, you should land around here. That's a very tricky uh, part to get down, mainly because of just how annoying the casino gimmicks are. These, uh, these things just bounce you everywhere and all around. If you're struggling, an alternate strat you could do is basically go all the way up here and then just jump your way over here like that. 
But I prefer to go with the method that just kind of bounces you across over to that. So those are the two different ways that you can approach that section. When you get over here, you just hold right, and then when you land on this bouncy thing, you just get up here, and you just jump across these platforms right here. Kind of self-explanatory, really. When you get over here, I'm going to show off something first before touching that. So, there, actually, I'm going to go into it intentionally. So, there's this annoying little pit right here where you're going to get bounced everywhere. And there is a way that you can jump over it if you time your jump correctly. I'm going to be uh, showing that off. So, who wants to be dealing with that? So, when you get over to this section uh, up here, after jumping across those, you're going to be just running into this speed pad, running into that one, and then what you want, what you want to do is as soon as, oh, that's a weird physics right there, as soon as you get to this little edge right here, this uh, slope, when the slope starts to get steeper, right where Classic Sonic is standing, as soon as you get here, you're going to want to jump, and then you're going to want to land around here, and then you're going to jump again when you get to the end of that uh, edge, or just when you get to the edge there. And then you're going to want to hold down the jump button and right. And then if you do it correctly, you should either land up here or at the very least around here where that spring is. So I'm going to show that in action. So right there is basically the gist of the jump. As you can see, I didn't entirely make it. I still managed to touch uh, this thing right here. But that, is, that was still a decent jump because I was able to skip most of the annoying bouncy part right there. But like I said, you'll usually want to land around right here. So, for the next part of the stage, you're going to want to charge this up and then land over here. Now you're going to want to stop Sonic when he reaches here. And the goal is to get to the top part of the stage, like I mentioned. So you're just going to want to time this, basically. You want to be mindful of that moving platform you can see in the middle. So let's just see if I can aim this right. Yeah. There. Ah, perfect. You want to get the classic Sonic to the edge of that, uh, to the edge of that, and then you're going to want to bounce him up here. It can be annoying dealing with uh, the casino gimmicks, so just, just got to be mindful of those. Now, for this next section, you're going to want to just mash the jump button to bounce Sonic up immediately, and then you're going to just want to maneuver him up to the uh, top. Just like that. So basically, I just ha I just bounced him up immediately, and then I held right, and then I held left. And then here, you can just spin dash immediately. You get launched here, and then just charge that up to the maximum. And then when you get to the bottom of this path, just uh, start mashing or holding down. Uh, just like literally just holding down so you can keep your ball form and go a little faster. Just like that. And yeah, that's the end of the stage. So casino gimmicks aside, another very basic classic Sonic stage. The casino gimmicks are the most annoying part about that. It's like, sometimes the stage can be going just fine, but then you just make one wrong jump and you're stuck in an infinite loop of just being bounced around everywhere. And that's something that I can't really help with, it's just kind of... Sometimes it could just be your fault and then you just land in a loop of being bounced around and it's very annoying But you just got to make do or reset or whatever you feel like doing But either way, I'm going to do a run through of the stage explaining as I go as usual. So let's take a look at that So I'm gonna start with the max charge spin dash at the beginning. I'm gonna charge this up I'm gonna match the jump on when I get up there I'm gonna bounce classic Sonic up to here I'm Gonna match the jump on there Ooh, you heard the jump sound effect, right? So that means that I got the early jump in the dash panel. I was able to jump up there in time. Let's see if I get the jump over the pit. Ah, I couldn't get it, unfortunately. That's fine, because that ended up being a decent uh, pit section. Now let's get Classic Sonic to the top here. Perfect. Mash, hold right, hold left, hold right. I did a drop dash there. And now I'm just holding right, I and mean, I'm going to let this next thing charge up here. Uh, pinball. Alright then, and that was Casino Forest. So 48, that's a pretty decent time. Uh, in this stage, I aim for anything in the realm of a 44 to a 50. 
anything in between that is fine by me. Uh, that that really works though. Uh, yeah, Casino Forest is a pretty basic classic Sonic stage, like I mentioned. Once you get past all the casino gimmicks, the casino gimmicks that bounce you all around is really the only thing I can't really help with because that's just something you got to get used to. Unfortunately, it annoys me too. Trust me, <laughs> I'm I, I I've been there, so don't worry about that. You're you're not alone if you're annoyed by the gimmicks or a run being ruined because Classic Sonic suddenly gets bounced around all over the place and you just lose your footing. But either way, that's it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next part about Aqua Road. So I'll see you guys then.